Hello, hello. We are here. How is everybody? Hello, Quepe. Hello, Fire Ninja. How are you both today? Are you both doing good? Happy Father's Day, if that's relevant to anybody. I don't know. Henlo, Henlo. Henlo is the... That's a word. <laughs> it's going to stretch out a bit. Get all the stretching out. Look at us. We're posing. And I just realized I have this house coat on and now I'm too hot and now I'm going to take this house coat off. Okay, it's off. We're good. I fixed it. Regardless, this river sucks. So that we're going to be spending our day in this river in the be to begin. If you haven't played this game, I'm going to tell you right now, this river kind of sucks. But we're going to have to deal with it. But it looks very pretty. It is probably the most beautiful area in the entire game. And honestly, that's what's important. So if you haven't played this game, revel in its gorgeousness. So our objective right now... We need to find things, and we need to light them. While also killing these guys, because they're a pain in the ass. And, and probably the worst enemy in existence, because they just fire arrows at you, and it sucks. Like, some real ass. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I can't use gravity well on horseback. That's interesting. I didn't know that. anything special on this. I can't remember, to be honest. I know I can't get over there until much later. So there's no real reason to worry about that. I love how uh, this that little thing up there, it looks like it's just a background element and you can't go there. But you can. There's a boss fight there. That's what's so sick about this game. Well, I mean, a lot of open world games have that. If you can see it, you can go there thing. But I think I might be dead. Oh, no, wait. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. At least I'm good if there was I, there's some way to proceed from here. Um, here? You like the ruins looming in the distance? Yeah, they're cool. Right there, you can go there. That's much later in the game, though. Well, actually, there's a way to get there early, but... It's part of a side quest that I can't remember how to do. I think I have to talk to the White Mask guy and kill some people. I love getting items I'm never going to use. Oh shit. Oh shit, that guy came out swinging. Calm down, calm down, friend. I'm sorry for whatever it is I did to upset you. I think it requires PvP, yeah, which means I can't do it. There's another thing to light. 
I don't even know if I get anything good for beating that guy, but I mean, it's a boss fight and we got to kill all the bosses, right? Oh shit. Also, I apologize for anyone who just checked their Discord. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll leave. Forgive me. Oh shit. Okay, the slicer is not really doing a lot of damage anymore. Now the greater glintstone shard is the better one. Just one second. I'm gonna check that Discord message and then also close Discord. Okay, now you should no longer get any random Discord pings that make you think it's your Discord pinged when it was actually mine. You know, this beautiful... Oh, no, I forgot these lightning balls are bullshit. Just low in and light this and leave. I'm out, I'm out. I remember those things yeeting me to, out of existence at one point. Apparently I had enough gold, golden seeds to do that. Let's do an even split of 5-5. Five, five. I can't remember where the other razors are. You're also like level 30? Yeah, they deleted me too when I came through this area. I also think I was a little bit underleveled when I came through this area. I'm not sure what like progress the game expects you to be at at this point. Because you can get into this area, like this river, like right at the very beginning of the game. It's super close to where you start. Ooh, a smithing stone four. That's pretty nice. Uh, co-op stuff, also known as stuff that I can never use. Love it. I think you're intended to find it with Rani's quest line. That's weird because it's kind of right in the open. Like, it's like right there. Like, you, it's not hard to find. I didn't mean to use another potion. Can I backstab these guys? Yes, you can! Actually, I didn't want to get off my horse there. 
How many are left? Uh, one more. We're going to be doing a bit of a boss gauntlet here. Oh yeah, I completely agree that that's definitely part of the intention as well. Ah, there's the last one as well. Like, they very much want you to get your ass kicked because you found something cool. And then think, oh, I'll come back later. Alright, we got a deer to kill. We're going hunting, boys. Good day. Hello, JP Arujogo one two seven. How are you today? Welcome to the uh, to this adventure in wherever we're doing right now. Uh, one sec, I'm just checking something. Oh yeah, there's like a bajillion ways to end up really deep in Kalid. Wait, what else was I supposed to do? Oh, is there two more? There might be two more that I need to light. Yeah, it looks like there's two more that I need to light. Okay, I came here a little bit too early. Do not, do not eat me. Oh no. I'm okay. I did not get yeeted by the orb of light. Isn't there like a warp to somewhere around here to a boss fight as well? I can't remember where it was, but there was one, I think. Yeah, I lit that one already. The game always gives you a way to get out of high level areas though. Whether it's just running like a bitch or we're just warping out to another side of grace and so on. I think that just takes me across the map, that one. Were there lights? Oh yeah, there are lights up here, okay. I remember dying so much in this river when I first came here though. Oh yeah, that one mine. But I think that's like, like that that's part of the experience in its own way. Oh fuck, this is the part that sucks. When they shoot these giant ass homing arrows at your face. Oh shit, oh fuck me. <laughs> oh damn it. Hello Tsunami TV, how are you today? I just died. I died a horrible, horrible, painful death. Viking go smash. Viking smashed me, all right. But I can smash Viking. Please, actually, do not take what I just said out of context. Please. You know what? I'm not dealing with this. I'm just going to light this brazier and move the fuck on. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. <laughs> 
I'm out. <laughs> Goodbye. Nocron is actually one of my favorite areas in this game. Just because, like, it that level has... That, that entire area just has such classic Dark Souls level design up the ass. The only possible context is battle. Hell yeah, you got that right. I remember spending a huge amount of time in Sifsio for a River, wondering like, hmm, how do I get to uh, Nocron? Do I, I had having no idea that you get there by doing something else. I thought you could get there from here, and I spent so much time trying to figure out how to do it. It ended up just being a massive waste of time. I do want to go here. All right, now, now we're going to go hunt some deer. From what I remember, this boss is very easy, but also very beautiful. I hope they don't resist magic. Because otherwise we're just gonna great glenstone shard its absolute ass off. very easy unless you have low damage. Yeah, I remember not having any trouble with this boss the first time I fought it. Like, but this entire area is so pretty. Oh, okay, I'm chunking him. Like, that attack has, like, never hit me. Like, I don't know how it even is supposed to hit you. Let's not get cocky now. Let's finish it off with a good old jump slash. Oh, yeah! Easy. I'm a good sorcerer. Now, where was the thing that lets me leave again? Ah, uh, there it is. <laughs> Is there anything else that I want to do with this river while I'm here? Uh, I think I need two stone sword keys to get this, and I can't remember. I think it just leads to an area in Kaelid that I can't access otherwise. Oh, I should probably... I should probably go get my runes. I, I, I completely re forgot that that's... That's a lot of runes that are just kind of sitting there, and I kind of... I kind of need them. Yeah, at least the two paths in Kaelid. How many uh, stone sword keys do I have? Six stone sword keys. Okay, I don't need to be too frugal with them. But let's go get my runes, because I think I dropped a lot of runes there. And then there's another boss fight that I should be able to access here as well. One that I, I had a really hard time the first time I played this game, but I honestly expect to beat really easily now, because... I just don't know what that fucker can do to my range. I'm feeling pretty strong. Oh 
Okay, we got the runes. <laughs> oh shit. Why does that do like half my health? I think I need two keys for this, right? Yes, I need two keys for this. I've got an arrow stuck up my ass. Damn, that sucks. Gosh, these elevators take a year and a half. I mean, I know why they take a year and a half. Those are legit the worst arrows enemies in all of FromSoft games. Yeah, I, I believe it. Holy shit, they're annoying. Always got to touch grace. Once my intelligence is 40, I'm probably going to start leveling up some other stats. First things first, I want to go back down into the well. There's some stuff still to do here. I just need to remember where they are. I think it's there. Oh, yep, it is there. Our goal here are boss fights. We're going to kill every boss fight in the game. Maybe. Aw, oh, yeah. Let's do this thing, big ass dude, man. First things first, let's explore down here. Haha, <laughs> wow. There's, there's nothing down here. Oh, wait, there's an item here. Ooh, a golden rune seven. That's pretty nice. All right, let's kick this thing's ass. I have a feeling this will be easy. I don't want to get too cocky, though. I mean, I already fought the stronger version of this one. Oh shit, that took like all my fucking health. Holy shit. Please have mercy. I'm sorry for saying that you'd be easy. Wow, this has, like, no range. Aw, oh, fuck, I dodged too early there. Really? Really gonna attack twice and just miss twice? I got lucky there. I definitely should have gotten hit there. Well, okay. So, I'm surprised at how easily he closes the gap, despite being a slow motherfucker. Here 
we go. Let's try this again. This time, we're not even going to get hit. Aw, oh, fuck, I got hit. Let's finish him in style. Wait, no, that's not style. There we go. Finish him off in style. Yeah, magic feels kind of broken. I wasn't expecting even just not abusing like the higher level sorcery spells to be this strong. This increases my magic stats, but at the same time, am I willing to take that extra damage? Am I willing to take that extra damage. Because with the Rad Dragon, Scar Seal, it increases my defensive stats, so it ends up balancing it out. Raises focus. But the Scar Seal, the Marika Scar Seal, doesn't quite have that same benefit. Hmm. Choices, choices, decisions, decisions. Let's do it. We're men, right? We can take a little bit of extra damage. I think there's some other stuff to collect up here, but then otherwise, I think I'm done here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Huh. Something went down my throat the wrong way. All right, let's go back over to Caleb. Let's find out what we can find in this area. There is a... Uh... I can go this way too, right? Yeah, I can go this way too. Let's go check out this way. Oh, that's a bear. I don't know why I'm fighting this thing. It's probably not a good idea. Because I'm really not doing a lot of damage to it. Oh fuck.
Why do they have that roar projectile? Like, what were they thinking? Like, let's give this bear a projectile. That that's a good idea. Ow. Last shot to do it. Was that even worth it? I have no idea. Can I jump down there? Is it a good idea to jump down there? I think I'll go explore the other way first. Right, 40 intelligence. Now I'm going to probably get my Vigor up a bit. Or I could just keep pushing my intelligence more. What level am I now? 56. We're getting up there in terms of level. Hello there, Mr. Giant. Don't mind me. I... Wow, that hit me. Oh, the big pot is here. Okay, I remember what you're supposed to do with this guy. Wow, that guy's got good aim. like the one time I don't want to be close up to one of these guys. Wow, that still hit me. Fuck this guy. Oh yeah, fuck him up. Could just kill him without doing the critical hit, but that wouldn't be very cool, would it? All right, giant pot time. I feel like these coliseums they planned to do more with them, and then it ended up getting cut. I'm not sure. All right, let's kick some ass. Nice job, guy. Oh shit, they're strong. Okay.
I might have made a mistake. <laughs> These guys have a ton of HP. And he just one shot me. All right, I will come back to that later. Those guys are a bit too strong for me right now. Not that I can't kill them, it's that I don't want to deal with that. And you will respect my decision. Everybody having a good Father's Day today? Did you go say hi to your fathers? Tell me. Share with me your stories. I read all. All right, I think I'm done here. Oh, wait, I'm going to try seeing if I can jump down there. Yep, I got smacked by a mace. It was not very fun. Oh, this bear's back. Nice. Okay, so I took damage, but I'm not dead. At the end of the day, that's what really matters, right? Also, not a huge fan of getting a somber stone 5 before getting a somber stone 4. I need a somber stone 4. I forgot where this path leads. A giant... I think that's just a red one though, so it just gives me... Yeah, it just gives me crap flasks. Oh yeah, it's the swamp. There's something here. Bastard, get back here. Oh, he fucking juked me. This dude's a master juker. Oh, come on, that should have hit. I feel like that should have hit. Let's try bringing out the Glintstone Arc. Oh, come on, hit him. How am I missing? I'm so bad. Oops. All right, I'm so, I'm getting pissed now. There we go. never going to use that poisoner. Ooh, is that a mine I see? Well, don't mind if I do. Am I Am I going to hell for that pun? Maybe I'll find some somber somber stone fours here. Hey, don't give me that look, Quipe.
Oh, come on. This totally looks like a invisible wall. Oh, well. Oh, it's these fuckheads. <laughs> all right, all right. Only need the three of those. That's good. Smithing stone five. Ooh. Ow. Yo, dick move, bug. Yo, these bugs. So super annoying. I think I died a ton in this level the first time I came through it. Because this mine feels familiar. I feel like I've been, like, I feel like I've gone through this mine like a bajillion times. Gravity stuff. Don't know how useful it will be. But maybe I just don't understand the gravity of their potential. Just like how I don't know how useful these Smithing Stone 4s will be. Because I almost died there, but I don't know how useful these Smithing Stone 4s will, 5s will be because I don't know how many 4 ones I have. So I might as well check. I have 5, so who knows. Arun Arc. You know, I haven't activated Godfrey's Rune yet. I should maybe go do that. Oh fuck, I didn't want to backdash there. Oh come on, let me get the thing. I don't even think that item's any good. Fuck it. There's the Somber Smithing Stone 4 that I said I needed. Hell yeah. All right. Rot bug. Oh shit, I'm out of magic. It's okay, I've got tons of magic pots. Ooh, new sorcery. I should try out some of these new sorceries out. I got a few that I can probably equip. Get some new tools. Oh, I fell. But it's okay, I didn't fall far. Oh wait, I did fall far because I fell to the first area of the level. Fuck yeah. And there was a ladder that I could have kicked down to get a shortcut. And, of course, I didn't cut down the ladder. Uh, this place. I remember being forced teleported there and killed a few times. Uh, this is the place that you're forced teleported to. I see. That means this cave probably has a special place in most people's hearts.
There we go. Shortcut unlocked. Hello, friend. I have I have a hello gift for you. Boop. I think somebody, I think I remember when I was shifting through the mods, I think there was a mod that let you play as this bug, I think. I'm going to have to check that now because I'm curious. Because it was a kind of a cool one that I was interested in. Obviously, I like the one that I have on right now more, but it, it was, was a cool one. No, I don't think there was actually. Maybe I'm just crazy. Yeah, I, I can't find it. I'm not sure if the, if I saw that mod. Maybe it was just a fever dream. <laughs> it might have just been a fever dream. Owies. That guy just totally snuck up on me. Getting a lot of somber smithing stone fours, which is very nice. You don't remember seeing a mod for them? Ah, uh, then maybe I'm just crazy. For some reason, I remember seeing it, but I might, I might just be crazy. Raises potency of incantations. Okay, so that's worthless for me. And yeah, I think I know which one you're think which dragon mod you're talking about. I think I have that one installed right now, actually. I have like three installed right now. I'm never gonna switch off of the one I'm currently using, but I have a feeling this is a boss fight. We're going to beat it first try, though, right, kids? Oh, shit. I wasn't paying attention for a hot second, and I didn't realize the boss spawn. Ow. Ow. Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> that's what I get for not paying attention. A beetle bull, it's I guess it is. <laughs> Why are you surprised? Didn't you uh play this game? You should have fought it before. Especially since you said you got teleported here. Falling Star Beast is tough. No, I'm a man. I can do it. It may be tough for you, but it's not going to be tough for me because I'm cool like that. I'm just built different. My level 5 dumbass ran for the door. Fair enough. But you didn't come back here? Seems kind of weird. Ah, you're still pretty early on in this game? Okay, that makes more sense then.
Ow, I dodge rolled and that still fucking hit me. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> well, that is the death of me. Let's try equipping some different spells. I want to experiment a bit. I've got a bit more incantations to fool around with. I'm not a huge fan of Gravity Well. Ooh, Meteorite might un might unironically be really good at the very beginning of this fight, when he's just waking up. Uh, Loretta's Great Bow is fun, but let's see. Just as taps the chair, throws that into the mid massive shockwave. I don't know, Rock Blaster might be fun. Carrying on Slicer's damage is starting to get a bit outclassed. Night Comet. Is this actually any good? Shattering Crystal. Let's try out some of these spells I just equipped. Seems like a good close range option. I guess he did, Quepa. I guess he did. Okay, what else we got here? I can just dump all my FP into that, I guess, if I want to. I can... So they won't attempt to dodge when you cast it? Okay, so I... I really like the sound of that then. But at the same time, it probably isn't very useful except on enemies that try to dodge. Basically, this this spell's probably not very good against the boss that I'm currently fighting, but it's probably amazing against certain other enemies. Still, it seems useful, so I'll probably have it equipped just in case one of those enemies pop up. It's pretty FP heavy, though. Let's see if we can do this shit. Ow. How dare you. I'm just vibing here, man. I am going to use a pot just to make sure I'm at full health. Alright, let's see how if this is any funny. Okay. Alright, alright. Alright, I vibe with it. So I would consider that to be a success. <laughs> Noise. Uh, that felt a little cheesy, though. <laughs> but I guess I'm a sorcerer, and I just got to do the sorcerer things. Also, the Shattering Crystal seems really good against big enemies. Like, this spell right here, Shattering Crystal, it feels really good against big enemies if I get close up to them. That did a lot of damage per hit. Uh, Rock Blaster, I'm not too much of a fan of, I think. It's funny, but that's about it. Let's see. Great Glenstone Shard for general use projectile. This for AoE. This for close ranged large enemies. This for dodging enemies. This for large boys. And maybe what's the last one should be? Well, the swords are good for defense.
half HP gone. Yeah, it's crazy. So many choices. Maybe the glint blades. Now let's go upgrade some shit. Dude just has, like, no faith in my ability to stay alive. Hell yeah, we just got a huge upgrade to, my, to our sword. And I need one smithing stone for. Where can I get a smithing stone for? I should probably pick up this map. <laughs> also, actually, I'm going to go to Randy's Price for a second and talk to uh, Celius, because I think he sells me some incantations. Not incantations, he sells me sorceries, which might be really useful. And I think I have so enough monies to buy some more from Selen as well. I must have every sorcery. I have picked up a few bell bearings. I doubt I've picked up the bell bearing that lets me buy level 4 stuff, though. But I can go and th give those bell bearings away and see what I can find. Alright, let's talk to this douchebag. No time for idle. The only thing I will hear from you. Are we under? I have enough. Well, well. You're asking me about that, are you? The task was left to you and the money. Not only are you incompetent, but shameless to boot. Wow. Fuck uh, you, bitch. There's no helping it. Now's as good a time as ever. There's a glintstone sorcerer by the name of Selen in Lingo. I already know her. She owes me for the help I gave her when she was expelled from the academy. I asked her to look into the matter some time ago. I'll write you a letter of introduction. Thank you, Zelvius, but I already I have talked to her. Anything. Are we under I haven't. Can you, like, sell me stuff? How do I get you to sell me stuff? Do I need to complete your task? I guess I need to complete your task, and then you'll sell me stuff. That's fine. I could just pretend that I'm completing this task, because fuck this guy. Make the journey to the capital, where the two things will deny. You may be our best hope, for we are tough. Is that portion monody Celibus? I suppose he's up to something again. Oh, I won't interfere. The round table has no cut. I ask yeah, I all. agree. <laughs> Would you rather hand that potion to me and see if we can't get one over on the bastard? Yes, definitely. I'll dispute. You go and see Selenus. Just tell him that you tricked your mark into Despite knowing next to bloody nothing, he's so far up his own ass he won't suspect a thing. His inevitable display of arrogance will certainly be a sight to behold. I love how we all just, everybody collectively is just like, man, fuck this guy. <laughs> Oh, it's not like you don't get something good by get doing what he says. I believe you can get a new spirit summon if you do that. 
Oh shit, why would you even do that? <laughs> to be fair, Gideon is kind of a dick at that point in the game, trying to kick your ass, but... Whatever. Is there like special dialogue or interaction during that? That'd be weird. Or is the game not do- I don't, the game doesn't really do that, I guess. It would it would be cool if it did though. Anyway, let's see if he sells me stuff now. Ah, so you may well it. done. Very well. Knowledge of the sorceress art. I doubt much of it will lay within the grasp of a if you put your mind to it. Alright, give me. You wish to be well? You're I am not handing over any scrolls to you though. Ooh, upgraded swords. They're probably amazing too. Yeah, this is this seems strong. I think I want this. This is probably really strong. I don't know if the frost ones are any good though. I guess if there's an enemy that's weak to frostbite, they'd be good. Anyway, I am gonna buy this. Anyway, I'm gonna keep giving my scrolls to Selen because. Uh, Selen's also kind of a bitch. I mean, everybody in this game's kind of a bitch. But she's less of a bitch than... Selvius is. <laughs> there you are. Shall we commence? Well, well. Celebus is not a name I ever wanted yeah, to Yeah, I agree. <laughs> but fine. If it will help you, my apprentice... I the stars alter the fate of the Carian royal family and the fate of your mistress, Rani. But long ago, General Radan challenged the swirling constellations and in a crushing victory arrested their cycles. Now he is the force that repulses the stars. If General Radan were to die, the stars would resume their movement and so too would Rani's destiny. Ah, is that a scroll? I just come at his door and his cable frenzy in one shot. Very well. I'll be sure to never lose that thing. Let's see what we got here. Because I got some new stuff. Glintstone stars. Star shower. This is probably really good. I mean, it's 10,000 runes. It better be fucking good. <laughs> what else we got here? Crystal barrage. Scholar's armament. Glintstone comet shard. Looks like a better version of the Great Glenstone Shard. Well, we've got some sorceries to buy. And some mind, because these are gonna be these are gonna really sink my FP costs, so I'm gonna wanna bump my mind up some more. But yeah, Star Shower is probably really good. Glenstone Comet Shard seems fucking great. Is this is great is Glenstone Comet Shard just like an upgraded Glenstone Shard, or is this like something fundamentally different? It looks like the best version of this. I mean, it's probably good. I'm just assuming it's good. It's better, yeah. Okay, I figured. It's like my it's like the new go-to shard thing or whatever. Maybe I can get enough runes to get it right now. Yep, I, I think I will have enough. And I'm going to want to upgrade my mind a bit. Because these are going to be expensive well. FP-wise. Okay, Glenstone Comet Shard. I don't think Meteorite is worth having equipped all the time. I think I want to... Let's, let's reset all this. I want a Great Glenstone Shard for something when I want cheap damage. Glenstone Comet Shard. 
Iron Phalanax, whatever the fuck you pronounce it. No, wait, uh, I want... I still want the Arc for AoE. I want this. I want this. And I want this. This looks good. Until I get more memory slots, this looks good. Alright, let's see what this Comet Shard's like. It's a little slow. I think I can charge it too, right? Yeah, I can. It's definitely a little slower though, so that's the only real concern. Let's go tell Blythe what we have learned. <laughs> Just to get some more dialogue out of him. Because that's what we really want. We just want more excuses to speak to him. I feel like General Adon's probably going to be a pretty easy boss for a sorcerer. That's how you pronounce it. <laughs> oh, unless that's what the. Well met. What news? Hmm. So Rani's fate is kept in stasis by Star's curse Radar. That reminds me of something I heard. There's a festival being held at the castle on the southern edge of the Caled Wilds, east of Limgrave. It's a festival of combat. And I heard that you can fight Radar himself. He was once called the strongest of all the demigods. Maybe it's just a coincidence. But I think it's worth investigating. I'll be on my way to this festival of Radan. Hey! Fucking bitch! I'm trying to talk to my fucking... Oh my gosh. He fucking murdered my ass. Well... <laughs> We got wrecked. <laughs> what a dick hole. Let's get my runes back. It looks like Blythe is already gone. Can these assholes just not shoot me with a bow and arrow for two seconds? Yeah, he must absolutely hate them. <laughs> Alright, let's see how much damage this does. Ooh, quite a bit. And I think, and, and especially if I charge it, I bet. Yeah, that's some big boy damage. Yep, this thing is strong. <laughs> okay. I guess that's the next thing I'm going to do, is the festival. Just follow this quest line, I guess. And then maybe we can do this dungeon afterwards. Mm, wait, I want to explore down here a bit. This area, because like I want to check this out. And I want to check this out. There might be like a memory stone down there. So I'm going to do that. The new Phalanx does too? Yeah, I should. It's probably going to be pretty strong. Wait, EG, do you sell level 4 smithing stones? Well, as war. I take it you've heard of the well. It has a twin. After years of expedition by going underground through the well in the mistwood of Limbrave, you can see only we failed to find lives made a good go of it, but I'm afraid this has him to be honest. Blythe is Lady Rani's stepbrother. Rani's mother, Queen Renala, approved of him, and they played like siblings. We're getting some lore dump now. They were always happy to have me tag along as well. When Lady Rani renounced her flesh and chose the Dark Lithe, and I swore allegiance as vassals, but none of us will ever forget.
promise to look after Blythe for me, will you? The man is honest to a fault. But fortunately, I take it you've heard of the eternal city of Noxtella. Well, after years, by going under only Blythe's, to be honest. Uh, no, I can't. Son of a bitch. Oh well. Alright, let's go exploring. Button pressing intensifies, you bet. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's pressing buttons. Wow, it's a grace I've never seen before. So where am I going? I'm just following this path, I think. That glint blade, it doesn't really do a huge amount of damage, but I think one of the biggest benefits of it is that it kind of protects you if an enemy gets too close. Ow, like right now. Yeah, that's what it's very good at doing. <laughs> It allows me to just sort of walk up to an enemy and then just start cutting it safely. Making short work of these fucking monsters, though. Sorcery is kind of broken, though. Oh, the glimstone pebble on my uh, my blade, it doesn't do a lot of damage. It has like no range, but it does so much damage for how little FP it costs. Like, look at this. That, takes, that costs like no FP and it does a bajillion damage. This is a real glintstone arc moments. what Glenstone Arc was designed to do. All right, all right, all right, I'm sorry. I'm not sure. All I know is is that my weapon art is do, does a ton of damage for how little FB it is. But it has like no range. Like look at this pathetic range. It goes like nowhere. But it does a ton of damage for its FB cost.
It goes about as far as a long spear, yeah. Who's shooting shit at me? Yo, rude, my dude. That's what I like to call wombo combos. A rune art. That's nice. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. I got cocky. Ah, oh, that's a rip. Now I gotta make the long trek back. Also, I just realized I cleared out this camp, but I never opened up the chest in that in this. I probably should have done that. In fact, let's do it right now. I can't do it right now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to kill them all again. It's probably not even worth it, but we're gonna do it anyway. Okay, the dog's a problem. Okay, dog's not a problem anymore. Stunned for like a year and a half for some reason. Why do their projectiles go so much farther than mine? These guys just didn't even realize that their entire party was getting owned. I'm far too lazy to. Ow. Oh shit, oh shit, this guy's fucking strong. That was annoying. Okay, 
Okay, let's actually open this now. Unlike last time where I just forgot to open it. Carry on Knight's sword. Ooh, it's got intelligence scaling. Is it actually any good though? Hmm. Like what would be better, my glinstone sword or this sword? It's worth considering, that's for sure. The weapon I have might be better. I think its spell is better. I think its spell is that big great sword slam spell. It's worth checking out once I get a few more somber stones. I think I'll stick with what, I, what I've got right now, though, for now. I'm just gonna do it. Oh, there's a lot of chests up here. I just want the chests, man. No way! Oh my gosh. Literally the second I opened the chest. What a fucking joke. All right, let's go back and get my stuff. I'm just going to grab this stuff and leave. Don't care. Oh, the chest stays open. Nice. That means I should just be able to drive by and pick that up. Hey, it's exactly what I needed. A smithing stone 4. Oh, fuck me. I died again anyway. All right, well, <laughs> we're going back.
I wonder how many times we're going to be walking through this area. Don't mind me. I'm just existing. All right, I got my runes back. <laughs> Ditch, run! Imagine if there was a death counter. Oh, please, no. Jellyfish. That's kind of a weird thing to see here. Oh, I think this is where the belfries are, right? Yeah, the four belfries. Do these any have anything good hidden in them? Or are they just like teasers for content yet to come? For the entire online player base? Okay, that's funny at least. Here's how everybody collectively sucks. I could dig that. Let's upgrade my staff. I can upgrade my other staffs once I actually get to like 60 and 70 intelligence, which won't be for a while. Oh, you know what? I could probably kill this fuckhead now. I completely forgot about him. Let's go, bitch. What are you going to do against my Night Comet? You can't dodge it. Wow. Okay, this is pretty funny. Alright, I like Night Comet. Night Comet's good. <laughs> Bitch. How much to level up? Do I have no, I don't I definitely don't have enough. Let's go get, give them some bell bearings. I've gotten a few. Okay, so I can buy the low level somber and smithing stones now. We're not buying the spirit calling bell. Like, straight up, we're just not going to buy it. <laughs> I, I don't want to be tempted by its sin. So we're just not going to buy it. Alright, let's head back here and see if we can find some stuff. Some stuff. Some stuff and some stuff and things. So the imbued sword keys, uh, I'm pretty sure they can only be used here, right?
Like, I'm pretty sure these Belfry Towers are the only places that they're used. Yep, okay. And I can't really remember what you get from actually going there. Is there anything useful? I guess I can go check them all out. I don't remember them being very large areas. All right, we're back in the beginning of the game. Walking backwards there will kill me. Let's go beat the first boss's ass. Ouchies. Let's not die. I would very much not like to die here. There we go. <laughs> the starting area is the most substantial area? Yeah, I kind of figured. From my understanding, the four Belfry's main power is glitching out speedruns. Because it gives you an easy way to get to Crumbling Pharaoh Missoula early to save your position there or something. Didn't they update Nephili's quest to actually have an ending now? So giving the Storm King can actually do something for you now? Like that quest was just not finished before. But now it actually progresses, from my understanding. some ashes I am never going to use because I'm literally not going to buy the item that lets me use it. Don't think there's anything else here. What's the lore of this starting area anyway? Like, why do we start here? Like, what's so special about this area? Hit me with that dank Elden lore. If you know. For now, I'm probably just gonna... Not really sure other than that I think Dead Girl was supposed to be your maiden. Ooh, that's interesting. Night Comet feels like a really strong spell. I enjoy. These towers, they also feel like, like they're a nice little teaser into showing like how deep this game goes. 
They, like, put you in places that you might not have ever thought you could actually go to. So that when you get to these places, you're just like, oh, shit. This is a place I could go to? But yeah, that kind of sucks if we were uh, actually not meant to be maidenless. Alright, Crucible Knight, let's fucking go. how you're just blocking that. Ow. Against the Crucible Knight, I feel like that Ambush Shard might be the best thing because it goes behind him. Okay, easy win. With the White Mask Guy's quest line, you have to soak a rag in the blood of a mating, and the lading in the starting church is one of the two you can do it with. Ah, uh, okay. So that's a maiden for sure then. Why did I bother killing that guy? I knew he gave me nothing. He gave me nothing, but I bothered to kill him anyway. Okay, not much else here. Let's go back to the belfries and go to the last one. Crucible Knights are all jerks. True. True. Very, very true. Is there even anything in the crumbling Pharaoh Azula that I can get here? I think the coolest thing about this one, like, first of all, being able to see the crumbling Pharaoh Missoula this early in the game is quite nice. And also the fact that it shoves you all the way over here and you're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, this is just a really cool, like, thing to see early on in the game. And you're like, oh, damn, I can't wait to go explore that later on. It's really cool. I definitely remember having a bit of an oh shit moment the first time I came here. Speaking of, I don't have that incantation yet, and I should probably go get it. I could probably kick that first Crucible Knight's ass now. I think these guys dodge. Where's the other one? Where's the other dog? Hello? 
Oh, he's right below me. What a jerk. Oh, shit. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, I'm not okay. Very much not okay. And I just lost 22,000 runes, so I'm going to have to go back and get them. is one of the coolest areas in the game visually that's for damn sure I think and, and the only really thing I hate about it gameplay wise is the godskin duo and even then I didn't really have too much trouble with the godskin duo compared to some other people like I it only took me a few tries to beat them but at the same time I didn't really have fun in those few tries <laughs> Okay, can you please just go to a place where I can shoot you and not just hide underneath me? Thank you very much. Please stop going there. Please walk back to where I can shoot you. Thank you very much. You're so kind. No, you bitch. Go back. AI pathfinding. Yep. I think I'm just going to have to go down there. Get away from me. Holy shit, I forgot that they jumped for that attack. How did... Can someone tell me how my, my fucking things there missed twice from point-blank range? Fuck off. I got cheesed there. Did you see that shit, though? I literally shot two shots, and he was barely moving, and they both just went right by them. There's not even anything down there worth picking up. I just want my runes back. That was some janky BS? Yeah, I know. I'm pissed. All right, we're going back in, and this time we're going to kick his ass. Also, I'm definitely not going to be going until midnight again, like I did yesterday. Well, maybe. It depends on how much fun I'm having. But I'm planning to go out and get some dessert somewhere later. But we'll see. If I'm having a lot of fun... I'll probably just keep going. And I mean, I love Elden Ring, so... We're going back down. Let's just use the Comet Shard. So, that happened. If you're wondering what happened there, uh, 
somebody came in and needed to get something. And I had to tell them where it was, and I couldn't focus. So I died. <laughs> That's life, isn't it? Well, at least I got my runes before I died. But now we have to go back in. Well, at least we have to keep doing this until I, I'm i not able to get my runes back. Okay, so uh, the Night Shard would have been better because it doesn't aggro that guy. But then again, he's in a really good position right now for me to blast him. He's not like going underneath me like he did before. Now why couldn't he be this friendly last time? Alright, I think that's it here, right? Like, there's nothing else here, I think. This area is mostly just to say, hey, this area exists, get excited. And maybe a chance to get an item drop from these enemies, like I did. Like I just did, actually. I don't think it's a weapon I can ever use, but... Hey, if you wanted to use this weapon, this is an early way to get it. Alright, let's actually use these runes before I lose them. That is a pretty cool sword though, you know, true. I'm gonna start leveling up my mind. I think I'm gonna need the, the extra FP soon. And then once I get to the point, and then I'm definitely gonna need more Vigor later on. Not right now, I think my Vigor is fine for now. But I'm definitely going to need some more of it later. My Vig, V-I-G. Okay, I'm going the right way. I want to check out this uh, tower down here. These, if it's a, ta if it's the same tower I'm thinking of, these towers have a good chance of having memory stones, and I do be needing the memory stones. Is that a grace I didn't find? Yeah, that's a grace I haven't found yet. Nice. Let's grab it. Bonfire lit, boys. Oh, it's those bats that sing opera. 40 Vig? Yeah, that's about what I'm thinking about going for. But we'll see. Oh, wait, that's not a tower. That's an Evergall. Well, boss fight it is then. And Evergalls usually have enemies that can dodge, so I think it's Night Comet and Swords time. Oh shit, uh, nope, this is, a uh, shotgun time. Forties when diminishing returns too, so it's a good cutoff. That's fair. Also, welcome. Hi Zenny, how are you today? You just join, or have you been lurking for a while? Alright, 
Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> Shit, okay. Fuck. Alright, he bonks me again. I think I'm going to need to keep my distance or learn to dodge better. Because he's pretty aggressive. You know what? Fuck this boss. Actually, no. I'm not near a grace right now. Oh, well. Let's see. Uh... I think the Shattering Crystal is my best spell. But I might want to stay farther away from him and use my other one. Get a few big hits off, and then we'll switch to the comet and run away. Almost missed my chance there. You see, when I played more like a mage and less like a melee character, I win easy. Also, that spell that I just got might be amazing. Oh, this one's stronger, though. Well, not stronger. This one needs higher intelligence. Which one's better? The Great Blade Flanix or the Karian Flanix? I guess I could try both out and see which one does more damage. Next thing I want to check is this up here. Oh, my neck is stiff. I keep complaining about that every single time, but I seriously need a better chair. That chair that I ordered can't come here soon enough. Okay, that totally looks like it's going to have a memory stone there. I mean, it better. I think carry-on is more cost-efficient. Yeah, that makes sense. Not like this. Okay, I think I got this. Just go. Bonk. <laughs> oh, the ruptured crystal tear. Isn't the one, is that the one that makes me explode? The meme one? I love that one. It's so stupid. It does exactly what you think it does. 
Boom, baby. Yep, that's the one. Hell yeah. I saw somebody make a really funny combo with that one. Where they drank it, and then they would use the gravity spell to, like, that pulls everybody in that you think you get from a dawn. And then it just, he just blows up and it, like, one-shots anyone. There's two of them, so that you could double explode? Hell yeah. Is this tower just open, or is it going to make me solve some puzzle? No, it's just open. Oh, no, wait. It is going to make me solve some puzzle. Uh, what did I... What did I have to do here again? I needed to use, like, uh, a gesture, I think, right? Like, I remember... Do like, I can't how do you solve this puzzle again? I don't... These puzzles are stupid. I want someone to just tell me what to do here. Just to remember what it is. Because I don't want to have to think. It needs a specific gesture. You might not have it. Yes, but which one? Where And where do I get it? I want to be heavily backseated for this. I, I've done it before. I've solved this puzzle before. I just can't remember. Hey! Shit, what did I just remove here? What, did I just remove jumping for joy? Oh, I did. Oh, I got it with that pack on. The name of the gesture is on the message. Yes, but uh, where do I find it? on be my be my personal wiki <laughs> I guess I could just look it up myself ah uh... the thops one um ah uh, I see I don't think I found the other key. Yep, okay, I gotta find the second key then. I don't think I found it. Let me check. I know where it is, actually. I don't know if I need to go check if I have it or not, because I think I'm pretty damn sure I know where it is. Well, we're going back in here. I know where it is. I'm pretty damn sure I know where it is anyway. Where did ye flee, my sweetings? Come out from whence ye hide.
Taking the long elevator down. Can you not shotgun me and kill me, please? Thank you very much. Hello, friends. I'm just passing through. Don't mind me. Okay, no, it's not here. I'm trying to remember how to get to that uh, other area. I think it's actually somewhere over there. Here. Ah, oh, shit. How do I get back? Uh, like this. Hell yeah. I'm a genius. I do not feel like dealing with crab today. I think this is the right way now. This is probably a stupid idea that I'm going to get shot, but who cares? Just keep going. Please don't fall off the ladder. No! Fuck you! enemies fine I'll kill them I didn't want to but you leave me no choice I love how one of their attacks is just literally trying to karate chop you with a book. Fucking chads. Books are pretty hard, though. Yeah, true. True, 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 true. You got that right. Your opinion is stronger than mine. I don't think I've ever been down here. Not yet, this playthrough yet, anyway. A some other somber smithing stone four is quite nice, actually.
The somber weapons feel like so much easier to upgrade. It's not even funny. But I guess they lack the versatility because you can't change their uh, Ashes of War at all. Okay, if I remember correctly, that item right there is what I'm looking for. Got it. Okay. Oh, shit. Well, that might be just 20,000 runes. I really don't think I want to go back and get. Uh, yeah, fuck it. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Yeah, it really is a huge difference. Also, can we all... Let's just all have just a moment to say goodbye to our lost souls. Say a prayer in a moment of silence. Okay, now that we've done that, let's go get more runes. Back to London, that wonderful. You said that you're willing to give your glintstone Mario. Thank you. Now I can go to resume my study. <laughs> Here we go. We got it. Hey, I'm going to talk to him. Back but... to learn another. Why, of course. Thank you, dear. With your blessing, I will depart for the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Perhaps, who knows, I may be a decorated sorcerer by then. You're going to be dead, <laughs> just as a note. But you're going to actually finish the thing that you wanted to finish. So more power to you, buddy. Oh, wait, no, that's this one. Not the ring. Not the ring. Not. <laughs> this one. Uh. Oh, okay, okay, a ladder appeared. Nice. <gasps> I was gonna say like it's, it's supposed to be like a sound like <sighs> hell yeah more spells baby and I think that's all all I pretty much wanted to check down here. Now, let's go get something very important. Something that I used quite a lot in my last playthrough, but something that I unfortunately will be unable to use in this one. But I think we should still go get it.
I should be able to make quick work of this fucker. I'm way over leveled for him now. But let's not get cocky now. He does have a very strong shield. Damn, this guy still kicks my ass. Can you put that shield down? If I die for whatever reason, I'm definitely going to be equipping the, uh, the one that goes behind. Oh, he's using my favorite spell. And there it is, the best incantation in the entire game. You wish the player's version could sweep across the entire arena? To be fair, the, it does still go pretty far. Beautiful, I agree, Zenny. It's very beautiful. It is pretty big, yep. Now, if only using it made it permanent. Now that would be pretty poggers. And I did just say that unironically. Controller, controller, I just alt tabbed once, let me play. All right, something's going on, one sec. There we go, <laughs> not sure what happened there. Also, one sec, one sec, look, look. Yes. <laughs> okay. All of these require faith, right? Yeah. I can't use any of these. Let's go fight Radon. Okay, place your bets. How many times am I going to die to Radon? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 20, 30, 100. How many attempts? Three times? That's a pretty respectable number. I'd say three. All right. You guys are uh, pretty confident in my skills, it seems. Or maybe you're just confident in my broken ass build. Which it really isn't that broken, but it's pretty strong.
Oh yeah, I've never fought Red nerfed Radon. I've straight up never fought him in his nerfed state. Let's see how this goes. Is he really like that much easier? I think they nerfed him hard, but then bumped him back up a pinch. Ah, I see. That's interesting. Ah, there you are. Hey, bitch. Take your sweet time. The players are all made up. I'm waiting for the good. Let's give them a show to remember. Just don't you go dying on me. For Ronnie's sake, too. Once more into the fray. <laughs> Champions! Welcome! The Star... Ah! You came. How delightful. Indeed, I thought I might find you here. By the by, do you know for whom this festival is being held? Well... Yes, I do. It is none other than General Radan himself to think. I could face a great champion of the shattering, a demigod in the flesh. Bitch, I've already killed two demigods. Oh, in truth, <laughs> I quiver at the thought. Such is his frightful repute. But the fear simply is sure to get a good vantage. My I, I. Should I try to fight Radon without summoning? I might. Uh, let's do like one or two attempts without summoning, and then if it becomes too much. I'll we'll summon. Are you good in the festival? Before we begin, allow me to paint Let's you. Let's watch. The full should I skip this or should we just let her rock? Let it rock? Okay. General Radan is cursed ever to wander. Eaten from the inside by Melania's scarlet rot, his wits are long gone. Now he gathers the corpses of former friends and foes alike, gorging on them. Like a dog. Gross. Howling at the sky. He eaten though. But now we must make merry. Oh, gathering of champions! The revels begin! The celebration of war! The Oh, I keep accidentally removing it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's... Do I need to talk to him again? You will find the field of battle. General Radan is divested of his whip and howling. At... Let's do this thing. Let's kill him. First try, no summons. Let's go. That's the plan here. You bet your ass I can do it. Let's do this thing.
Summons are for nerds. And are we nerds? We ain't no nerd. We are men. Who don't need no friends. Ow. Okay, maybe I need friends. I fucking dodged that, I promise. Well, I guess the first try dream is dead. <laughs> For we just got dunked on. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, that, that didn't count. That didn't count. That didn't count. That didn't count. This is a uh, fresh attempt. This is uh, This one counts. This one counts. This one is the one that counts. All right, all right. Let's do this. Ow. Kind of want to be at full health. Owies. He's shooting stuff. He's shooting stuff. That... That was actually straight up a one-shot. I got hit once, and I died. Because he comboed it. Because it killed my horse, knocked me off, and put me into a state where I couldn't move. Nice. 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 I'm okay. I'm okay. But we are going to do this shit with no summons. I think I need more stamina. I need to pay attention to my magic. Oh, I forgot about that.
Here we go. Where is he? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, okay, he didn't hit me. If I remember correctly, it's when he charges at me. Is when is when those rocks fly at me. Oh, I need to jump that. I'm gonna I'm gonna use a red pot just to heal my horse. Cause if I get knocked off my horse, I'm fucked. Yeah, right here. These are the one the rocks fly at me. Okay, we're good. Oh shit, what's he doing? What's he doing? What is he doing? Calm down. I hate that attack. Just give me a deck to full health. No! No! Are you kidding me? How did I let that get hit, hit me at the very end there? Man. That was closer than almost, man. That was, I literally had that, and I just fucking threw. No more dying. This is already my fourth attempt, though. That last attempt was my third attempt. So your prediction was sadly already wrong. I had to win that last one. Oh, the number of deaths was it, then yeah. I said how many attempts, though. But if that's what you're going by, then... Then yeah, this would be the fourth attempt. Oh, I forgot about the wave. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Get up, get up. Where is that fucker? Hi, 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 how are you? I 
Ow. I got fucking greedy. I just kind of stood there and let it happen because I wanted to fire off more things. Like the dumbass I am. Is there a better spell that I can be using? I don't think so. All right, so that's four deaths. You're all wrong. I suck. Oh fuck! I thought I thought getting off my horse gave me invincibility. Clearly, I was wrong. I'm already dead. Well, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> Sucking is what I'm doing. I literally had it, and then I just got hit at the very end. Man, even with the nerfs, this guy fucks you up. This is the first boss in the game that really does a ridiculous amount of damage. Oh, I hate those arrows. They're like, they actually are legitimately RNG at times. Lock on, please. All right, Radon, where are you going? Fuck, 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 get out of the way. <laughs> Oh, he would just run away. You fucking bitch. I always want to be at full health. Nice. Not sure how I didn't get hit there, but I'll take it. Ow. Here comes the rocks. Miss me with those rocks, bitch. Really? How'd that hit me, yo? No, stop running!
Wow, that went the wrong direction. There we fucking go. <laughs> Bitch. Ass. About that. Yeah, you're not facing anyone, bitch. The light, it burns. Ah. Now, there is a sight of grace somewhere in this fucking wasteland. Where was the sight of grace in this area again? I remember having a hard time finding it last time, too. I just was wandering around for a while, being like, where do I go? Oh, there it is. Ah, hello there. Um, it was a battle marvelously fought. You are well and truly a champion, friend. I, on the other hand, Nothing but a crock. One hit was all it took to crack me. Bet you weren't even there. To come spilling out. After that, uh, I hid like a coward. And as such, I can hardly. <sighs> but don't you think I've given up just yet? As luck would have it, there's a veritable mountain of warriors' bodies right here. If I can just squeeze this bunch down inside me. I'll be a mighty warrior, you know? The body who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the Shattering. The greatest of all wars. Hm. Just you wait and see. Just you wait when next we meet. <laughs> I never finished this guy's quest line. The bodies found who could expect. Hm. Just you wait. <laughs> ah, good. I was waiting for you. What a sick way to fight, eh? The glory of the clash is shared. And ha, <laughs> did you see that afterward? Falling star right before our eyes. I can't fathom how Radan was holding back something of that scale. He was a living legend if ever I saw one. And the path has now been cleared to Nokra, where Rani's fate will be decided. Let's meet where the falling star bit the earth. We'll take up our souls once more. Yeah, I know that you get that talisman. I've heard it's really good. All right, let's get more f fucking mind. <laughs> I think I'll take my mind to 30, and then I'll take my vigor to 30, and then I'll start pumping intelligence a bit more. Now, if I remember correctly, there is a catacomb down here. Why don't I do that while I'm here? And if you didn't know that, well, there is a catacomb down here. It's all the way off into the corner over here, if I remember correctly.
I don't even know why I bother, though. The catacombs usually don't have anything of note. Unless they're usually entirely spirit summon focused. Then again, some uh, some catacombs can have other stuff in them. But for the most part, they just contain spirit summon stuff. Oh my fucking gosh. The fuck is wrong with me? Alright, so, uh... There isn't a staircase there. The staircase is in front of me. Great start, great start, you're right. I wonder if I can just, uh... Do this. Oh shit, these guys are tanky. Nope, nope, I'm just gonna run by these guys. Don't mind me, don't mind me, I'm just vibing, ow. That was so a backstab. These teleporting bastards. What? He wasn't even on screen. How was he readying that arrow? You fucking bitch. Oh my gosh, he can still charge his arrow even after I shoot him. Okay. Alright. Honestly, I think I'll come back to this one later. This one's hard. This one has enemies that are way above my damage threshold right now. I'm just going to grab those runes and get the fuck out of here. I'm out. Ow. Ah, crap. I got it stuck on me. Well, we're rotted now, but that's okay. Let's just leave. Got to sleep. Didn't notice the time. Oof. You always never notice the time. Have a good sleep, though. Thanks for stopping by. I need to scritch my neck a bit. Ah. <laughs> it definitely is. Isn't it great, though? I like it. Also, hello, Sony08. Thank you for stopping by. How are you today? How are you today? Having a good day? Not bad. You? I'm having a great day. We just beat Radon. Uh, didn't summon anything, but I am playing a spellcasting build, so it really wasn't that hard. I just sort of ran like a bitch and shot beams, which is the true spellcaster way, if you ask me. Whoa. 
Where to next? Oh yeah, I can go to Nokron now. I probably would want to do that. Nokron's cool. I fired my laser. Well, not that laser. I'm trying to avoid using Comet Azure. Because that's just, that is literally broken. <laughs> Nokron is like here, right? It was like around this area. Yep, there it is. Is that the meta cheese attack or something? Yep, it is. <laughs> Comet Azura is just fucking broken. Well, it's even when you don't do the cheese strat with it, it's very powerful. Anyway, Nokron's one of my favorite areas, so let's go to Nokron. Zero magic music flash flash. That's just really strong in general, yeah. Any incantate like not any uh, sorcery that involves having to hold down the button and excessively use FP, that tier just makes absolutely broken for a few seconds. And Comet Azure is just one of the biggest abuses that you can do with it. How familiar are you with Elden Ring, uh, Sony? Meteors are pretty busted too? Yeah, I kind of configured that. As soon as I'm playing it, but I'm still fairly lost on most of it. It's really good. If you have any, if you're a fan of any of From Software's previous games, then you'll enjoy Elden Ring. Might I ask how you stumbled upon my humble little stream? Then, if you're not too much of an Elden Ring fan, just a little curious, what kind of places I should be uh, shilling to? If you don't mind sharing, of course. This is probably the prettiest area in the game, by the way. Nokron is just such a cool area. I love it. Oh, okay, I see. Well, thanks for stopping by again, then. And that's why that's a good skill. I still haven't activated any of my great rooms. I should probably do that. Eh, rune arcs are for losers. Oh, I was hoping I'd hit that.
I think I like Nocron so much because it's definitely one of the areas that feels like classic Dark Souls. I love the open world of Elden Ring, but I definitely love that it still incorporates that old school level design into it. It pretty much has the best of both worlds, where most open world games have to sacrifice one or the other. Uh, no, it's not something that I whipped up myself. It's just something that I found, and I thought, hey, this is perfect. <laughs> I'm going to do a whole last playthrough with this. And welcome back, Quizzical. How are you today? Um, can I survive that drop? I mean, there isn't anywhere else to go, so I guess I'll survive. I can survive it. Oh, that guy was just like, I'm not going to let you kill me. I'm going to kill me. You respect it. That guy was just out of there. He was just like, nah, man, I'm out of this. This life sucks. Nukron. This area is so fucking cool. I think Nokron is one of those areas that you just kind of need to stop and, like, admire it a bit. They really fucking nailed the art style of these cities, man. Oh, I've got enough FP that one FP jar doesn't fill it up to max now. Nice. That's less wasted FP. I'm going to try and kill the Mimic tier without... Uh, there is a modding scene. It's on the Nexus mods. I see pretty frequent mods. Uh, nothing too out, out there, I think, yet. But some pretty cool stuff. This is the only one that I personally cared about, though. For reasons. I think there's a randomizer mod in the works. Which would be really fucking fun. Can't imagine why? Well, it just, it just has a certain little flair to it, you know? If you know what I mean. Well, of course there wasn't. Why would there be? I wish there was. I need to pay people to make that more, I think. Just, uh, whenever I think of playing a game, I just be like, hey, hey, do this for me, please. I'll give you money.
I'm not sure if it's smithing stone fives that I need. Somber stones. I think I need a somber stone like seven, though. Which I don't think I'm going to find here. Down into the city we go. Gosh, look at that, man. This right here is a fucking view. Like, holy shit. It really is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure somebody, like, the mod that I had said credit to some username for the, for letting me use the mod, the model. So he, they didn't make this. This isn't a new one. This is definitely an existing one out there already. Ow. I'm getting my shit handed to me. One sec. I fucked up. Okay. I didn't know. I don't know why I didn't just shoot her with lasers, but you know. But yeah, they uh, the the mod page said that they they use this model from somewhere else. I don't think I'm ever gonna be using larval tears. Wow, man. I think this is honestly the coolest area in the whole game. Like, straight up, this is the coolest fucking area in the whole game. Alright, let's go uh, get our shit kicked by the Mimic Tier throwing spells at us. Maybe. It might be worth looking into. But I mean... I, there's, he's definitely the most popular one, you know. All right, Mr. Mimic Tear. Look at him! You're a mage. Use your spells. Don't heal. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> it works with the Mimic Tour too. Yeah, because it's just an armor replacement, technically. So anything that uses this armor would, uh, I think it would work with that. I'm not sure. And yeah, they are very iconic. And they're just kind of cool. Like, I don't know. I like them. I'm not a huge fan of the original game, but I like the character, which is, which should say something. Okay, we've got our mind at 30. Let's get our Vigor to 30. Yeah, he's cool. And I like the, how the armor looks on him, too. If I get the knight piece, I can remove the armor and just have the model. But I kind of really like how it looks with the armor. So I just sort of keep it on.
I don't think there's anything over here. I'm starting to think I'm wasting my time. <laughs> but I must check. For who knows what secrets will lie in the depths. No item ahead. Yeah, I'm not online, so I couldn't see any messages like that. Well, that was a colossal waste of energy. What about over here? No, there's fuck all. Somber stones. Hurrah. Gosh, this is so fucking cool. I love this fucking area, man. It's so pretty. Alright, but now it's time for the bullshit. <laughs> this area. Oh, I almost died there. Yeah, the poor goats got owned. But no, it's more of these lighting fire things. There's a dude down there. Let's go talk to him. Hello, dude. We'll, we'll go to Mog later. Much later. I have no means of going there earlier, because I think I have to do some online fights for that. I need to do eight again, right? Holy shit, that has so much range. But it's okay. How did that trade? I should have hit him first. Are there any uses? Uh, you just straight up can't use them, I think. Because any modification to the game is like, nah, we're not going to let you use that online. Yeah, I'm using a pretty harmless skin mod, but somebody out there could be using, like, some sort of gameplay-altering mod to ruin someone experience in PvP.
And since there's no real way to tell if you're using a simple skin altering mod or some sort of gameplay altering mod, the game just plays it safe and is just like, nah. weapon that I'm never going to use. Excuse me? Why did my backstab not work? Rude. Just straight rude. Where are your manners? Not letting me kill you. Shake my fucking head. Oh, fuck, it's that red wolf. I don't really feel like fighting you. So I'm not going to. What's down here? I actually don't know. It's been too long. I don't remember where most things are. There is literally nothing down here. All right. I see how it is. Bitch. Oh gosh, there are rats. A lot of them, too. Man, it's amazing how many situations in this game are so much easier when you can handle them from ranged. Like, obviously, things are easier when you don't have to engage with them face-to-face, -face, but still. I missed a fire back there? I mean, like, uh, a Sight of Grace? Oh, no, a fire. I think this one is the one you're thinking about, right? Yeah, thanks for the... Rem for the heads up. I think I'll go down there after I do everything up here. This looks like something that'll actually give me something. What do you got for me? An art of war I am never going to use. Lighting a fire while standing in it. You bet. That's just how fucking cool we are. And I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna fucking do it again. Hell yeah! I'm so cool. No, Koval. Hey, Koval. Yeah, you're right. Literally fucking unplayable. I am so upset that they weren't able to get those physics in there. I cannot believe it. It is just an absolute fucking disgrace.
How are you today? You have a good Father's Day. We had a really nice dinner. Exhausted, oof. Another busy day. Where, how many fires do I have left to light? Molten necklace. Ah, yeah, that's the uh, that's the, the virtual thing that's going on right now, the con, I think. Sounds fun. A convention. Ah, okay. Yeah, I've heard some people talking about it, though. I don't have too much interest in it right now, personally. Maybe down the line I will have more interest in those things, but right now, not too much. Yeah, apparently there was one going on this weekend. I've seen a lot of people talking about it. Well, I need to get VR. I know you could do desktop, but uh, I would rather... I want to really engage in that when I actually have a headset of my own. I plan to get one sometime next year. When I have a bit more room for it. When I'm not just shoved into a tiny little corner. Alright, here are some bitches that need to die. I refuse to get shot at. Behold my stealth. Oh shit, they saw me. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please don't p hit me with your epic palm. You're going to go nap? Okay, thanks for stopping by and saying hi, though. I appreciate it. It sounds like you desperately need your nap. <laughs> you too. I thought there was, like, a fire there. You're socialed out? <laughs> Sounds like you need a week to just... to just isolate in your room with a nice hot chocolate and covered in covers and just veg out and vibe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just veg out and vibe for a few days. Sweet, looks like I found all the fires, though. So it's time to go hunting some deer. This should just be a ever-so-slightly harder version of the fight we had before. And the fight we had before was an absolute joke, so I'm kind of expecting this will be an absolute joke, too. I know that feeling all too well. Yeah, I don't know that feeling too well myself, personally. But I've definitely had days where I just want to do nothing and lie in bed all day. Alright, bitch. Regal Ancestor Spirit. Let's fucking go. Let's tango. Ow. Oh, he's tangoing with me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for saying that you would be a joke.
even if it's true. Oh yeah, this bitch has that heal, right? Like they have their health bar is like double what you think it is because they have this really irritating heal. Ow. Yeah, right here. Please don't teleport. Get back here. Oh, is it going to charge at me? No, oh, it's doing the teleporting thing again. Okay, that was easy. I don't know why I was even remotely worried. Get down, back into the dirt. I have no idea if that remembrance will give me anything good. But whatever. <laughs> There should be a site of grace around here somewhere, right? I think there. I really want to find one. Because I'm going to hate myself if I go into the level not having it. Where was it? I think it was somewhere over here. Yep, I found it. Sweet. Yeah, let's give myself some more health. Let's get my uh, Vigor up to uh, up to 30. And also see what these remembrances can give me. Um, restore FP upon defeating enemies. This, this sounds really good for my build. Like, does that sounds really good, actually. But how much FP does it actually give me? Does it give me, like, a pittance, or does it give me something substantial? Because if it only gives me, like, a pittance, then it's not very good. A pittance? Aw, oh, that's fucking sad. Does it, like, add up? Or is it, like, just an absolute negligible amount? I'm just trusting my neck. Sounds negligible, then, unfortunately. Unless they buffed it, negligible? Fuck. Oh well. This is an intelligence weapon, but it scales more with strength and dex, so it's probably not very good for a pure intelligence run. Overall, uh, 
probably just going to use those two to uh, get a shit ton of runes. It's like 3% every time. That's... That's not terrible, 3%. That adds up if you're killing a lot. Also, I should check any new chest armor that I get. You never know when we'll get something that's badass. This looks cool, but I don't really like how the cape right here. Oh, wait, the cape doesn't really clip there, actually. That's actually... Oh, no, it does. Yeah, I'm not really a huge fan of how it clips there. Like, I gotta keep my eye open for anything that looks cooler than this, visually. <laughs> If you have any ideas of armor that might look really cool there, let me know. Well, I took these no man to lay out your arm. I need one more smithing stone five. One more smithing stone five. Should I put some points into decks and start using the Moonveil sword? Nah, I'm not like that. I'm not going to Moonveil. I'm I'm better than Moonveil. I'm going to grab some water. This will be like a very short 30 second break. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I have returned. Thank you, Quiz. I am glad to be back. Fingers. I find it funny that you go through the whole game hearing like, oh, it's the two fingers. You need to speak to the two fingers. And you think, oh, this must be like a like a metaphor or something. Like, it's not like a metaphoric statement. I wonder what the two fingers are. And then you go there and it's literally just two fucking fingers. Like, this game's fucking weird. <laughs> And 
Anyway, back to Nokron, I think. It do be a very odd game, yes. And I made it even odder with this mod. <laughs> I made it better, actually. All right, it's time to explore Nokron improper. And it's just a massive game too. Like it's just this is this game is only possible because of the the creation of every game that came before it. Like, this game would not exist if Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 didn't exist for them to take assets from and ideas. This game is a testament on what you can do if you're allowed, if you let yourself reuse as much assets as possible. It's only as big as it is because they've reused a lot of stuff from past games. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's right. I completely abide by that that thinking process. Oh, it doesn't go far enough. There we go. I wish more games would realize that, like, you don't need to recreate the wheel so often. Just make something and just keep building upon it until you make something truly special. It's partially why I think Breath of the Wild 2 has potential to be a masterpiece of a game, because they're going to be reusing so many assets from uh, Breath of the Wild 1 that I hope that they can actually make something truly special with it, especially if they incorporate some things that Elden Ring did. What's the safe way down here? Do I just jump? That doesn't look that far. I might be able to survive that. Yeah, that's fine. The black wet blade. I can't remember what that allows me to do. But I'm not using any... Oh. Sure, why not? One stone sword key only? Sounds like a deal to me. I think this is the mimic tier. It is indeed the mimic tier. Guess what we're never going to use? I did use Mimic Tier a bit in my first playthrough, though, and I can attest to how broken it was in the first patch. I'm not using any summons, ever. Wait, one sec. Let's kill that rock first.
Yeah, the the rock is funny, man. Look, the ball in its own right is creative. Just the fact that it exists takes some sort of brain, you know? Dodge this. That Night Comet feels really good against dodging enemies. Like, super good. Hello, Grace. Touch Grace. Need quite a bit to level up. I guess the less you'll do might be helpful. If I think I charge this, I think it pierces, right? Yeah, it does, but they weren't close enough behind him. I think this is pretty much the end of the dungeon, right? I think I can get the treasure, which will allow me to get to the Sea of Rot, which will allow me to get to Astel. And I might use uh, Astel's wing as a weapon. That seems like it would be a pretty fun weapon to use, maybe? I'm not sure. I think I would need some decks to use it, though. I mean, I do plan to pump decks a bit once I get my... Uh, my, my mind, my vigor, and my intelligence super high. I'm going to start, start throwing points into some dexterity. And then I might be able to use some different weapons. The Wing of Astel is one that I had my eye on, though. And one that I think I want to try out. But I think it is a dex weapon. I'm not 100% sure about that, though. Oh, where does that go? I'll find out after I get this treasure. And we got the thing. Let's see where this takes me. It might just take me back to the beginning as like a way of just leaving. Yep, that's exactly what it did. All right, it's time for pain now, guys. If you know anything about this area, you know that I am about to approach something really dumb and really dangerous. If you don't know what I'm talking about, well, you'll see. And if you do know what I'm talking about, wish me luck. Here we go. Let's see if people, anyone actually knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> 
Anyone? Anyone know what I'm talking about? No? No, nothing about nothing. You know, that's fair. I respect that. Oh, well, it seems like I've forgotten how to get there anyway. I haven't checked back here yet, so I might as well get whatever's back here. I want some precise platforming here. Huh, oh, shit. Huh. 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 Can we make this jump? We can make this jump. Hello there, friend. Would you like to die in the name of justice? I can't remember what that does. I think it allows me to like spray fire at the cost of FP. I think it's a uh... In scaling? If it is in scaling, it's pretty nice. If it's not in scaling, then I don't care about it. What's this warp back here? I don't know if it's any good. Let me check it. It is intelligence scaling, so it might actually be pretty strong. Should I bother with it, or should I, like... I feel like I should just use my other thing. Is there a way to fall down here? I'm trying to remember how to get over there. Oh, it's right here. Okay. All right. It's very niche. Fair enough. Anyway, it's time to get to get fucking shit on. I hope you people enjoy getting shit on because I'm about to get shit on super fucking hard. Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'm a legend. Although, I probably am not a legend. Fuck. Hi. Hi, how are you? Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Let's, let's just not talk about this. Let's run. Hey, 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 come here. Fall off the edge. It'll be funny, trust me. Come on, do it. Fall off the edge. You know you want to. Come on, bro. Bro. Come on, jump off the edge. It'll be super funny. Do a flip. friends. We're friends now. We're friends now. See, he's not attacking me, so we're friends. Oh, fuck. We're not friends. 
All right, all right, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Bye. Oh shit, he's still coming. The power of not dealing with it. That's what we're doing right now. Although it seems like he doesn't abide by that as much as I do. Is he still chasing me? How much damage do I do this guy? This guy doesn't have a shield, so I'm okay with fighting him. I am not okay with fighting him. I I just got humbled super hard there. Well, let's go back in. Fighting him is a trap. I'm not doing that again. It's not that I can't beat him. It's that I don't want to. Actually, let's just cheese him from here. Shit, he's coming all the way around. Ow. Holy shit, that guy just wrecked me. Bro, can you not? Bro, can you not? Shit, I'm out of healing. How that fucking hit me, bro? I'm out. I'm running. Give me something good. That wasn't good. I said give me something good and you failed me. Ah! Fuck! He scared the shit out of me. I got bamboozled. So uh, let's do the smart thing and not engage. But I'm going to grab this item here. Ooh, smithing stone five. That was worth getting. Very glad that these archers have terrible aim.
rune arcs. I don't know when I'm going to need those rune arcs, but they'll be very useful when I need them. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. All right, here it is. Let's get this over with. The most bullshit boss. Here we fucking go. Here comes the second one, and this is when the boss gets stupid. I gotta hope that magic cheese this a bit. I just need to run like a bitch. That's the strat. Yo, don't do the spinniness. Ow. Get me out of the poison. Get me away from this twin blade. Fuck. Holy shit, that fucking acid lags my game. Okay, one's down. Are you kidding me? I had like full health and it just deleted me. <laughs> Damn, man. Okay, okay. Let's see. Let's fucking do this. Ow. Holy shit, I'm still alive, though. I don't like it when they both attack like that. Oh, come on! That damage! I had near full health, and it still just one-shot me. Fuck, man.
All right. One more try. <laughs> We're going to get this shit. I dodged that shit. I was li literally mid-dodge roll. I just panic rolled there because I didn't know the timing. I think I need to heal. Oh shit, poison! Shit! I'm just out, I'm just out of range. I guess I'll just shoot you then until the other guy's in range. How did that hit me? The fucking poison breath. Yo, these gargoyles are bullshit. I hate these guys. This is one of the bosses that I had to cheese with Mimic Tear the first time I played this game. Ow. What? I, I dodged that, man. The lingering hitbox on that attack is crazy. Yeah, I'm going to need more Vigor. Not right this second, but it's definitely the stat I'm going to be leveling up some more. We're now getting into the point where enemies one or two shot you, so I'm going to need it. These guys do dodge magic, so maybe I need, I need to use Night Comet. I am fucking dodging that. How did both of those miss? How did my jump attack miss there? I just kind of let that hit me, to be honest. Oh, I'm out of FP. Fuck. I need to get away from that poison.
Fuck this boss. I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead, but I might as well be dead. Yep. <laughs> Man. These gargoyles. Even with a magic build, they're hard. This is the first boss that has given me some serious trouble so far. It's okay. This next run, we're going to win. Oh no, bad time to use my healing item. Ah, oh, fuck. I need more vigor. I need more vigor. I need way more vigor. Can you stop dodging my charged one? comes the second one. Go, go, go. No, I didn't have enough time. How did that hit me? I definitely feel like I, I fucking timed that right. And then the fucking poison, literally undodgeable. Oh gosh, this boss. I don't know why I'm not dodging that shockwave attack. Like, I feel like I'm dodging it at the exact moment I can, but then the lingering hitbox just hits me anyway. I think I start I need to start the fight off with some night comet since he dodges the first few strikes. There we go. I fucking mistimed my dodge. No, there's literally nothing I could do. Are you kidding me? Like. I was literally stuck in a position where I could not get out of that poison breath. I get the feeling that face gets the most use in a game like this. What face?
Are you serious? Oh yeah, the shock dies one definitely. And I'm never close enough to capitalize on him getting stunned. Let's not back myself into a corner again like last time. I say as I immediately get backed into a corner. Oh, the fucking poison breath. It's literally so stupid. It's literally so stupid. Ah, oh, fuck. I just hate this boss. It's like, this is probably the most poorly designed boss in the game. I really don't like how the poison breath is so hard and they can back you into a corner so easily. Oh, I just timed that. Almost died, but we didn't die. Are you serious? This guy's just fucking... Now they're both here. Can't wait. Now the other guy's spewing poison. I love it. Okay. Okay, okay. He's dead. Oh, but it doesn't matter because this guy's a fucking dumbass. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Fuck. I am so bad at timing these dodges. I just completely forgot the timing on this boss entirely in terms of dodges. I'm panic rolling too much because I don't remember the timings at all. Also, most bosses in this game are fast and this boss is a little slow. I was unable to dodge that for some reason. I'm poisoned, and I literally was unable to dodge that because the poison breath just happened to be entirely on top of me. Man, this boss.
There's a reason I cheesed it the first time I fought this game. This boss is so stupid. Wow, I wasn't expecting that attack to hit me that fast. How'd that jump attack miss, man? Are you serious? Are you serious? It's the salty hours time. <laughs> Damn, man. This is literally the only boss in the game so far to kill me multiple times. Here we go again. I fucking dodged that. I can't believe that missed. And I got fucking slashed in the ass. alone. Fucking poison attack. Okay, one of them's dead. I don't really know how to dodge that attack, to be honest. I never have known how to dodge that one. Can you not dodge my shit, please? Fuck that! That's he like, he looks like he's about to hit, and then he drags it along the ground instead. Like, what a dickhead. Finally, fucking garbage ass boss. <laughs> Bitch ass. <laughs> That's what you fucking get. <laughs> fucking, ah. Uh, I had to use the Mimic Tear in that fight last time I fought it. Now I need more vigor. Give me the health. Gonna go sleep? I'm probably gonna be getting off soon too. Don't really feel like having another super ultra long stream like yesterday. I'm getting the coffin though.
I don't know why you would assume that getting into this coffin would be a good idea. <laughs> like, why? what compelled the main character to just do this? Like, how is he supposed to know that this would happen? Out we come. And I'm all the way over here now. That doesn't really make the most sense, but, well, that's just how it be. From what I remember, there's like three different ways to get to deep root depths. Oh, that was rude. What? No, he was almost dead. That cheater. I got cheated. I got so cheated. Oh, fuck. I <laughs> got so... Alright, let's just go get my runes. And then I'm just gonna... Probably leave it at that today. I'm kind of tired. I want to spend the rest of the day doing something else. Probably will continue this run on Tuesday. But first... Spells. I have a new memory slot. I should probably equip something. This is still the best incantation in the entire game. Mm -hmm. No bias at all from me. And that description. Mm, sounds good. I don't think I'm using Great Glenstone Shard anymore. It's kind of outclassed by Comet Shard. So I think I'm going to have... Uh, Meteorite in here, and Rockbuster, maybe? I don't know. I mean, it could be fun. Maybe Ambush Shard. Very good incantation. I based I based almost an entire build around this. <laughs> of course I did. It was strength faith. It was a fun build. 
I used other things though. Like I didn't rely on this because this was actually a pretty useless skill in uh, a lot of boss fights. But against anything that could be like staggered or stunned, this thing was amazing. Let's put on Ambush Shard, actually. I really like the Ambush Shard against enemies that... Enemies that shield. Kind of blocked out my mind out there. Yeah, but does it look cool, though? It looks fucking awesome. It is literally the coolest skill in the game, in my opinion. But I'm also very biased. Let's use some gold runes, see if we can get enough to level up. Because I want more HP. Booyah, more HP, baby. Now we're really rocking that health bar. All right, I'm definitely going to call it today right here, though. I, uh, I'm i pretty tired. I want to go to bed. Well, I don't want to go to bed. I want to do something else. It was a good day today. A pretty short stream compared to yesterday, but it was a short, fun time. We got some good progress in the game, and we're going to make even more progress on Tuesday. Thanks for More like thanks for being here, Quizzical. I appreciate you, and I hope, and I appreciate everybody here. Thanks for all stopping by. So I'm going to close up shop here. And I'm going to see if there's anyone online who I can raid. There is somebody. I like Mars. Mars is online, so I'm going to raid Mars. He's a cool little dude. I'd like to vary it up who I raid, but eh, well, they're fun, so I'm going to raid them. So if you're interested in joining for that, see it up there. Though there's only three of you right now, it seems like, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, well. That's life. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for stopping by. I hope you all have a good time. And happy Father's Day to anyone who has a loving father. Take care. It looks funny like this. Like, it's like a wide, wide fisheye lens. Mika. I, I, right? I'm not, I'm not mistaken on the pronunciation.